Yeah, growing up in Chicago did influence me in sports. I think it made me want to do sports even more so I could venture out and see more of the world. I think a lot of times growing up on the South Side, your world could feel a little small. And I went to Morgan Park High School and their team was known for being state champs, state runners up, uh, performing will really well in the city in sports. And so when I started running track for them, we got to travel to different parts of the country and I was competing on a national level. And it just showed me that if I dedicated myself to sports that I could travel and go do all these cool things for free too. So I was like, um, this is definitely an opportunity for me and became something I'm passionate about. I think Chicago put me in that atmosphere I needed to, to want to grow and, and to keep pushing and thriving through sport. My mother is my biggest influence, especially in shaping me to become the woman I am today. Um, she raised me and my brother and my sister and I, and I think that for her to have two athletes, two children who became professional athletes and be as dedicated and involved as she was in my career, as well as manage a whole family and household. It just gave me so much confidence and <laughs> and independence. Like, it's so funny. When I first started track and field, I came in really, really fast, but I was so raw, didn't know how to do anything. And my mom bought some bl starting blocks and literally like put them against the wall inside our house. We didn't have much space. So as soon as I came out the blocks, I had to stop so I didn't run into the wall. But she just did little things to kind of help me to continue to have an edge, to continue to per to perfect my craft and want and like help guide me in that light. And it, she's one of the reasons I have that powerful start, how I was able to do bobsled. Literally my first time down the ice, um, I did not like the sport. I was in Lake Placid, New York at the Olympic Training Center. And that's arguably like the roughest track in the world. So it's a mile long track full of twists and turns. When you go through these big turns, you're feeling gravity push you down. So we're pulling like four or five Gs. It's really rough, brutal. Um, I'm not in control. I'm just holding on in the back of the sled. And so I hated the sport. When we came through the finish line, everyone was in my face with their cameras and stuff. Like, like, how was it trying to gauge my reaction? And I tried to play it cool. Again, I'm fierce, right? So I had that that demeanor. But then as soon as I got a second to step away from them, I literally went in the bathroom and called my mom and was like, hey, so can I come home? Because I don't know if this works for me. Um, this is crazy. I don't know how this qualifies at the Olympics. Like, what is this? And she let me get it out. Like, let me vent for like five minutes straight. And then she told me I better go back to the top of that hill and go again. And I was so mad at her for that. But then I did it in my third day on the ice, we set the start record and won team trials. So I was like, okay, I guess I should stick around. <laughs> A lot of athletes from track and field do transition into the sport of bobsled. Bobsled is kind of one of those sports where you don't really grow up doing it. You bring your power and your explosiveness and speed and skill from other sports, and that's how you wind up in bobsled. For me, my coach told me about it at U of I, my senior year of college. Um, it's so funny, because him and I didn't have the best relationship, so when he told me that he thought I would be this really good bobsledder and I could go on and be like Vanetta Flowers and Herschel Walker, I wasn't here hearing anything he was saying, all I saw was cool runnings. And I'm like, I'm not your cool running story. <laughs> like, that's just how it felt at the time. And so I, I kind of brushed it off for about a year and a half. And I was working as a sports performance trainer uh, up in, in Highland Park at EFT Sports Performance. And I was helping everybody else accomplish their goals, like corporate clients, athletes, pros, collegiate athletes. And it just felt like something for me was missing. And so I went out and tried tried out for bobsled in 2012 and made my first Olympic team and won bronze two years later. But that transition wasn't as easy as it sounds. I think track and field did prepare me for it. I was a sprinter and a shot put thrower. So I was a five-time All-American, Big Ten record holder, 2008 Olympic trials, all for like shot put. And then I had this sprinting aspect too. And so um, being able to move weight and have speed and efficiency behind the sled is really what you need. The sleds weigh like 360. 65 pounds. So the fact that I'm able to move that that weight at such a high speed uh, made me uh, the perfect candidate for a bobsled.